Hey, what's up guys? We're going to test all these different batteries out to find out who works the best at both room temperature and at freezing cold temperatures. After testing, I'll lay out the results for both best runtime and the best runtime per penny cost. All these batteries and equipment were purchased with my own money, and the results are based on unbiased testing. Alright, so let's jump right into it. You'll notice I'm not testing either EverReady or Rayovac, because yes, they are Energizer batteries repackaged, and that would be like testing the same battery three times. I also won't be testing dollar store batteries because they are mostly all carbon zinc, meant for long, low draw, and aren't comparable to a heavy draw test we'll be using for the alkaline and lithium batteries. First test will be at room temperature. This device allows me to drain the batteries while recording output and time to depletion. The first battery is Energizer Max Alkaline. I'll set it to 500 MA discharge. The next is the Walmart Great Value battery, followed by the Amazon Basics Alkaline, and the fourth is a regular Duracell Alkaline battery. So we'll zoom in on the screen, I'll let them run, and as you can see on the screen, all the batteries began at 100%. The Energizer Max has already dropped down to 96%. At a little over the midway point, about 30 minutes into the test, most of the batteries are at a similar point. Going through each one, you can see on the graph, power output is similar, but more on that a little later. As I select through each battery, you can see at the top, each one is about 21 to 22 degrees Celsius, sitting right at room temperature, and the cap output is about the same. All right, so the test is finished. Here you can see the Energizer Max ran for one hour, 40 minutes and 21 seconds. The Walmart battery ran for one hour, 36 minutes and one second. The Amazon ran for one hour, 20 minutes and 57 seconds. And finally, the regular Duracell ran for one hour, 49 minutes and 26 seconds. That's about a 30 minute difference between the top and bottom end. But let's try the other four and put the results all together. In this test, we'll check an Energizer Lithium battery, a Home Depot house brand battery, a Superstore Loblaws PC house brand, and a top price Duracell Optimum battery. At three hours, the lithium is still at 91% compared to the alkalines. The Home Depot battery ran for an hour, 50 minutes, and 55 seconds. The PC battery ran for an hour, 38 minutes, and 44 seconds. And the Duracell Optimum ran for the longest at two hours, eight minutes, and 42 seconds. The interesting thing about the lithium is as you can see on the graph, it stayed steady on its output, whereas the alkaline dropped steadily down. The lithium blew the others away, lasting 6 hours, 11 minutes, and 8 seconds, almost three times longer than the longest running alkaline. Okay, so here are the results for runtime for all eight batteries. But more important than who ran longer is how much it cost for each battery to run that long. So here's a breakdown of each battery's individual cost versus how long it ran for. This is what you get for your money, and arguably more important. For room temperature, the Home Depot battery did surprisingly well, especially for its cheap cost. The lithium battery does cost the most, but its runtime makes it well worth it. Alright, but let's move on to the freezing cold test. I kept all the batteries in a freezer for 12 hours. The testing machine has been relocated to an unheated garage, currently sitting in our Canadian winter at about minus 10 degrees Celsius or 14 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll run the batteries four at a time in the same order. I'll wipe the frost off the screen so it's a little easier to read. You'll notice the device reads the batteries at zero degrees Celsius. That is as low as the device can read. And despite being in a cold environment, as the batteries discharge, they will warm up internally. Okay, on the freezing test, we're over midway through at only 20 minutes. The four alkaline batteries are all pretty low. Okay, the first four in the cold are done. The Energizer Max ran for 1 hour 11 minutes and 44 seconds. The Walmart value ran for 1 hour 7 minutes and 48 seconds. The Amazon ran for 1 hour 15 minutes and 52 seconds. And the Duracell ran for 1 hour 21 minutes and 15 seconds. All about a half hour less runtime in the cold. Okay, the last four batteries are in. The PC battery capacity dropped straight to 15%. To make sure it wasn't the reader, I reinserted the battery. But as you can see, the cold destroyed the capacity and it quickly dropped back off, as did some of the other batteries, just not as extreme. I'm going to speed this up a bit so you can see that only 2 minutes into the test, the PC batteries already dropped down to 8% and the other battery capacities are declining. Jumping right to the end for the results, the lithium battery, no surprise, ran for 5 hours, 52 minutes and 41 seconds. The Home Depot did good at 1 hour, 14 minutes and 8 seconds. The PC only ran for 4 minutes and 21 seconds. And the Duracell Optimum did 1 hour, 33 minutes and 18 seconds. So the final results are, for strictly runtime, here they are. No surprise, the lithium and the cold came out ahead. So here's the best bang for your buck in the cold. The lithium will run the longest, but some of the cheaper batteries are so cost effective you could recycle two or three in the same amount of time. The Home Depot again surprised with its runtime for an alkaline battery. The one thing to keep in mind with some of these house brands like Amazon is they are made by other manufacturers and that can change from year to year as contracts change. 
Where I would put my money is on the two that came out consistently on top, both in warm and cold testing. Additionally, one thing to keep in mind, any battery that leaks will make these runtime tests not matter per penny. Depending on your use and the climate where you live, one type may leak more than the other. So.